Hi everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about Dazzle Dry. I have had this product for a few weeks now and I've been playing around with it and I'm going to give you a bit of a review slash first impressions and run through the colours. Okay, so I'm going to start by reading um, what Dazzle Dry website says about the product. Um, it says it dries rock hard in five minutes, chip free for up to four weeks. It removes like regular polish. It has a high gloss um, and a non, it's, oh, well, it's high gloss and non yellowing. It strengthens the natural nails. There's no UV lamp needed. It's non toxic, no formaldehyde, no DBP, no toluene, and no camphor. And it's a vegan product. So that's what the website says. And I have found this to be really, really great. This is a really good um, alternative to the only other quick drying polish that I've used that comes close to this is Vinylux from CND and the formulas are very different um, but that's the closest thing that I have used that compares to this so I'm going to start talking about what products you get. Okie doke so I have the Dazzle Dry um, nail prep base coat and top coat pack so the nail prep is uh, you clean off your natural nails before you use your base coat then obviously you have your base coat, you use your two colour coats and then your top coat. So the one thing that I will say, some of you may have come across this now, I freaked out when I first saw this because I didn't read the instructions properly. The base coat can go completely solid. And if you bear with me a sec, I've got another pack and I'll show you what I mean in one second. Okie doke, so obviously the one on the left is the one that's rock solid and the one on the right is not. What happens with this is when it gets cold, it forms, it, it goes into a gel form. But don't panic because once it gets warm again, it goes back to a liquid form. So you can pop it in a um, glass of warm water. Or with me, this one on the right was actually solid this morning. And all I did was turn my heater on. So it's back to normal. So don't stress. And it's, yeah, fine. So if you're like me and you didn't read the instructions properly, you'll freak out when you first notice that. But... It goes back to normal so don't panic okay so another product I have here is a dazzle dry thinner and it's only for the top coat and the nail lacquers you don't need it for the base coat and it comes with this little pipette plastic pipette thing so when your polishes do get gluggy this is a way to thin them out without having to buy new ones and dazzle dry is quite a thick formula I'll get into that a little bit more in a second Okay guys, so I've got here, this is a number 452 and it's called Petit Four. So it's a nice peach colour. It's quite a thick one, this one, I'm finding. Um, and it is one of the ones that I find a little little bit more tricky to paint than some of the others. Some of the some of the bottles I have, the, the polish is a little thinner. I think it just depends on the colour. This one's quite thick, so I wanted to show you how I paint it. Um, I'm using my nail display rings, which are from eBay. Um, I pay about $3 at most for a bag of 50 of these. I get them from China. They take about three weeks to reach Australia. You don't need to pay $15 a bag from a supplier on Facebook. They're exactly the same. There's just that markup. So do your homework. Go on eBay, get these. Don't waste your money. Um, get your nail display ring. Give the bottle a very good shake and work quickly. So load your brush up with a good amount of polish. This isn't one of these ones where it's thin to win. This is thick, um, sorry, not thick, it's quick drying, so you need a lot on your brush. Pop it on your brush, paint quickly because it's drying as I'm talking. And as you can see, there are paint marks in it. So don't worry that you're applying it thickly. That's it. So leave it like that and I will come back and show you two coats in a minute. Okay, so this one, how gorgeous is this? This is Grape Lollipop number 419. This is almost a neon purple and I have done two coats of this and as you can see this is a little bit just as you could see this is this goes on a lot smoother and this one is quite sheer. This is two coats. I wanted to show you how I'm applying my top coat because this also dries quickly so there is the top coat. So, sorry guys, I know you don't want to see my hands. Um, right, so again, load your brush up, work quickly. And just pop it on. Now this top coat really does finish the nails. Some of the, some of the polishes dry matte, some of them do dry shiny. This is one that dries matte. And 
I'll show you. Sorry, I'm, I'm dicking around a bit here and it's um, actually setting as I'm talking to you. So the more I'm polishing, the more mistakes I'm making. So as you can see down that side, I have... That's better. So you can just go over it. And don't worry about putting too much on because it's set so quickly. you just got to worry about working quick. So I'm going to stop playing around with it now. I'll let that dry and again I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm just going to run through the colours. So I'll pop that over the neck of the bottle and we'll come back to that at the end. Okay, so I'm going to run through the colours that I have. Um, obviously this is white. They are 15ml bottles so they're very, very good sized bottles. You get a lot in them. Uh, the prices are all on the Dazzle, they're all on the Dazzle Dry website. US nine dollars um for a big 15 mil bottle uh some of the prices are slightly different if they i think if they've got a glittery formula um but most of them are nine dollars so that's the first one so that is white lightning number 708 and that's just a pure white okay so the next one i have is a black which is called midnight express number 705 so it's just a lovely really really lovely black which goes on really well in two coats okay so the next one is a silver which again has gone on really really nicely in two coats this one is number 355 silver lining next is this really lovely sort of mocha color i really like this one this is a lovely one for autumn this is called glam new chick which is number 468 and again this one was a really really nice one to paint uh, I really recommend this colour it's absolutely gorgeous okay this is the next one this is a sort of uh, lovely greeny blue actually I'll get the other one that I've got that's quite similar to this so I've got two here that are similar this one this one on the left has a little bit more green in and this one is more sort of blue turquoise they are Casablanca number 364 and the more blue one is spearmint tea which is number 453 and both of them are really lovely colors if i don't drop okay so i love this one this is gorgeous this is a lovely sort of pale sort of sorbet lemon and it is called frozen lemonade number 418 really really pretty sort of spring color i love it and then we've got a uh, lovely sort of nude peachy color i guess you call it and it is called mango mousse which is number 395 okay so everybody has to have a red in their collection this is just gorgeous this is a true red and it is called rapid red and it is number 701 just gorgeous this one really really lovely okie doke now this one with one coat i was finding you could see a little bit of dark red in this but it, with two coats it looks more uh brown really really rich color it's possibly not showing up quite right on the camera it looks a bit more black you can probably tell from the bottle it's a bit more brown this is called juliet's passion and it is number 442 and it's just really gorgeous this color and as you can see when you have got the top coat on these these are absolutely beautiful shiny really 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 lovely um colors this is another one of my favorites this is just a really really gorgeous sort of lilac -y, lavendery color and it is lavender parade number 299 i really like this one absolutely just so pretty. i have this one currently on my toes and it's been on my toes for about a good two weeks and other than the regrowth it has lasted brilliantly this is a sort of it's hard it's a it's a pink but it's sort of a more of a neon and i know it's coming out a little bit orange on the camera but it is sort of a pinky orangey neon and it is called tutti frutti smoothie which is number 417 really really funky color this one this is great so my top coat on this one has dried and as you can see it is just gorgeous and shiny it is really really nice if you can't if you can't get to a salon to get your nails done with something like shellac or a gel polish this is another really really good choice it's high shine it's really really beautiful it lasts a long time um i highly recommend this this one is called grape lollipop i think i mentioned that before it's number 419 and it's just a really really pretty sort of almost neon sort of purple so really back pretty. to the color that i did the one coat of this one is the petty four number 200 and, sorry 452 bit dyslexic there so as you can see 
it's actually dried really nicely. It has smoothed out. Now you can quite easily, let me just see if I can focus that a bit better. I don't think that's completely focused. There you go. You can get away with quite easily with one coat that has sort of self leveled quite nicely, but I'll do another coat to show you. So just shake the bottle again, load up your brush again, work fast. So I want to show you how a second coat goes on. So it doesn't matter if you think you've got too much on, you can always just wipe a bit off, but just be quick, quick, quick. And then just remove any excess. And that's, I was going to say that's it, but I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so that's it. So that will self-level. I'll pop a top coat on. And that's pretty much how you use Dazzle Dry. So I am going to be doing some more nail art tutorials. I'm going to do one in a minute, which I will upload fairly soon for you. I highly recommend these. I think these are a really good. If you haven't got time to sit around for half an hour and wait for your nails dry, which most of us don't have, this is a brilliant, brilliant polish to use. Um, I'm really, really happy with these. Okay, so before I go, I just did want to show you this. This has dried, even though it looked fairly difficult to apply this colour. It was drying pretty quickly. Um, this has dried really well, so I'm just going to pop the top coat on that and it will be um, the high shine that the others have. Okay, so look, I hope this helps you to make up your mind about Dazzle Dry. I'm going to be doing um, some nail art tutorials, as I said before, um, over the next weeks uh, using Dazzle Dry, some hand painted nail art. I'm going to try some stamping with Dazzle Dry. I'm going to use Dazzle Dry as a base to stamp with other polishes, just so you can get a bit of a a look at what you can do with it so i hope this helped you please give me a thumbs up if you like the video if you haven't subscribed please do so and if you have any comments leave them in the dis uh, in the comments box below and i will leave all of the product information in the description bar okay guys thanks for watching bye